turn my camera on? I don't know. It seems like you'll get a, a lot of excess B-roll if you don't. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to turn it on. And uh, so I've got plants, a wheelbarrow, this garden bed, and a rake. idea for a plant. I'm open to feedback. I think ones that look like each other should stay together. Um, you want me to start this up again? Has it stopped recording? I think so. It doesn't appear that way to me. Oh good, okay. That's confusing because I saw you push a button. I guess you were just making a scene break. Yes. Okay. some drizzle I might have to take a break and um, wait for it to stop so I can keep recording oh uh, we'll wait actually the drizzle's not so bad right now but if it, it starts to really rain I have to turn yeah. the off okay on the plus side the rain should help the um, footpaths set so let's see I guess this one is the
one is in. Got a tomato plant in. Oh, and you put a tomato plant in too. It looks like it already has a little bit of baby tomatoes on there. Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. I said that one there didn't have any external signs of uh, growth on it. Do you think it's uh, dead? I just, I don't know, it had a, um, I don't think it's, it just didn't start, or maybe it just didn't start. It had a little popsicle stick sticking out of it, so it's not too bad. saying carrots were good for now. Cool. That's, uh, well, I'll, we'll get some really good stuff when we go to buy some starter plants. Um, because it's, it is a little late for seeds, but uh, I think we could get some great fall starter plants. Some cabbage, definitely. That could be
camera. I'm gonna throw these all in the trash. But let's take the video camera out and get some video of this. So we've got some tomato plants in the back, some herbs closer to the kitchen here, some more tomato plants on this side. We also have some other plants. I'm not entirely sure what all of these are, honestly. These, a lot of them were gifts from fellow activists. This one is a hot banana pepper. Hopefully we'll get some peppers out of this one. And here we have some Thai basil right near the kitchen. So hopefully that can be used for some basil as that grows. Now we're gonna uh, even out the dirt, or the soil rather, in this garden. We've added these footpaths as well. Uh, they're going to function as a place for people to step if they are harvesting from the garden or just tending to the garden. As you can see, uh, it protects the soil from any harm my shoes might be doing. And uh, it also helps keep things organized so that we only have a certain number and spacing of plants. So here is the beginning of the Shire Free Garden where anyone will be free to take whatever vegetables or herbs they like and uh, hopefully it will be an example for others to follow of uh, being a good neighbor and community member. Thanks for your help, David. You're welcome. Now, James Robin Hood Cleveland was also a huge source of help in this project, both financially and with his physical labor and t connections to uh, materials like the loam that's provided here. So if you want to follow this garden along, I'll be blogging about it at DerekJ.me. That's my name, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-J. Me, and uh, I'll be blogging about it at least once a week. So check back here for updates if you're interested in farming, gardening, uh, backyard, vegetable gardens, or just living more independently. It's July 27th, 2014, a Saturday. No, Sunday. Happy Sunday. Peace. <laughs>